back to the next music theory lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about notes and rests. Please print up the PDF attachment associated with this video, and let's get started. Let's do a little bit of review. At the top of this page, on the right-hand side, we see the notes and the rests listed. Make sure you can identify a quarter note, which gets one beat, a half note, which gets two beats, and a whole note, which gets four beats, as well as the quarter rest, half rest, and whole rest. In exercise one, each measure in the next two exercises is missing one rest. So you have to figure out which rest is missing based on how many beats or notes are in that measure. So for instance, in the first measure, we have four beats, but we only have three notes. So that should tell you four minus three is one. So we are missing one quarter note rest. In the second measure of A, we notice we have two quarter notes and we have nothing else. So if we're in 4-4 four, four, and we have four beats in every measure and we only have two notes, then we're missing two other beats. So to use uh, one of the rests, which gets two beats, that's a half rest. For number two, this song is missing bar lines. Fill in the missing bar lines. Remember we're in 4-4, four, four, so after every four beats, we put a bar line. So let's do the first three together. We see a quarter note, followed by another quarter note, followed by another quarter note, followed by a rest. That would be beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four on that quarter note rest. So there's our first four beats, then we would draw that first bar line after that quarter note rest. In exercises three and four, some of the measures are missing uh, a rest, so you have to figure out what rests go where. Um, you know, if you want to add a quarter rest somewhere, if you want to add two quarter rests instead of a half rest, um, you know, just have a little bit of fun with it. If you take a look at example number four, it says fill in missing rests. When we're looking at the grand staff here, we have a treble clef and uh, bass clef staff together, that means that we've got to have rests where there are no notes. So for instance, in the first measure, we see notes in the bass clef, but we don't see any notes in the treble clef. So if there are no notes present in the treble clef, then there needs to be a rest in that measure. And since there are no notes in that treble clef, then we would put a whole note rest for that first measure. In the second measure, you'll notice the right hand has a quarter note followed by this gap and then a quarter note at the end. So we're missing some rests in between. We could put two quarter note rests in between those two quarter notes. So you have quarter note on beat one, quarter rest on beat two, quarter rest on beat three, then that middle C quarter note on beat four. Using that as an example, uh, fill out number four, and I will see you next time. Thank you.